Welcome back to the GSL Code S. We're now going into the losers match and seeing uh, if it's actually going to be Rain who gets knocked out, or more predictably, it would be Hack. But we've already had a weird day. Rain was beaten by Lucera. Uh, Hero managed to beat Lucera and has escaped first, so we have three players remaining. But one of these two is going to be knocked out, and that's where their story ends. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that Hack was playing like pretty well overall against Hero. But Hero obviously uh, playing better than everyone else in the group today getting that first place spot. But it's like the way Hack was playing, it was like eventually an SCB poll comes. I'm sure Rain watched that and knows that. And Rain is one of those guys that just isn't going to die to an SCB poll. And the very top pro losses just don't really lose that. You can play on ladder all day and have a 95% win rate with SCB pulls. You're not going to kill Rain. You're not going to kill Party. You're not going to kill a hero. You're not going to kill Classic. I'm sorry. That's it. it. They don't lose to that crap. It's. I mean, they can sometimes. I don't want to say they never do because we were out in pro last week. So and so lost to it. And you what about that game in 2014? I'm like, yeah, okay. Innovation nailed him with it after he killed a couple pros with an. Yes, okay, it can happen. I'm just saying, in general, that is not going to be necessarily the strat that's going to going to be winning for you. And if you do hit it, it better be a damn tight tight. Our format is a best of three. We'll start with Terraform, then Expedition Lost. And if we oh, do go cool. to map number three, it'll be on Cactus Valley. We don't get to see Expedition Lost too much. It's no, banned out a lot. kind of forget so. about that map a lot. Yeah. And any series I don't have to see Iron Fortress in is a good series to me. <laughs> Our game is starting up. A TVP hack versus Rain. Let's see if Rain can get his groove back. Or if hack just as he beat Dream in a huge upset can beat Rain here now to then go on and face off against Lucera. In the bottom right, in the red, he is. In the upper left, in the blue. My insanity lane. Rain versus binary. <laughs> Did I solve it? I think uh, almost. Watch out, Pictionary World Champion. I think this is a fan that's going to see a lot. There. I keep seeing like really well drawn and well written out posters, it, but I it, normally I can't figure out all the pictures and names quick enough, like because they they don't hold the camera there very long. They should hold the camera on that those signs that this person makes if this is the same person over and over. <gasps> oh, thank you from wow. Switzerland. We love Switzerland too. <laughs> I've never been there though, actually. Did you, guys you know, more Starcraft did you know when I was very little, for a very brief period of time, my family lived in Switzerland, in Zurich. Really? Yeah, very, very short period of time. I was there for um, three months or something. Huh. No. Yeah. Did you know? Um, no, I have no good story about Switzerland, actually, now that I think about it. I was like, hey, I'm going to up that. Nope. <laughs> Never been to Switzerland. That's all there is to it. Look at our toast. Like all a I, Switzerland all I know girl, our toast is like... Banks chocolate, I don't know, I'm out of ideas. No, that's it, I was going <laughs> to say. Like, well, and the only thing I know about Switzerland is uh, what movies tell me that that's where everyone hides their money. <laughs> yeah, man. That's where I'm hiding all my dirty esports money. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Now we got uh, we got two racks coming down here. And we have the Nexus starting here for Protoss. So it's going to be a bit of a slow start here. Switzerland is one of those countries that never goes to war, right? Like it's always neutral. No, no, no. It's uh, it's it's it was it's neutral. Okay. Yeah. It's actually incredibly clean there. Yeah. It's so clean. Is it? Oh wait, you've never really been to like Japan. But no, I haven't been to Japan, but I'm sure it's similar. Like just yeah, just super like clean, really, really super clean. orderly. I like things clean and orderly. That's why I love rain as a as a StarCraft II Protoss. <laughs> yeah. 
But Rain goes to war all the time, Tasis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, this is true. Mm. Uh, Rain looks like he's gearing up for a pretty early attack here. Either that or he's just trying to hide a pylon, and he'll use that later on. Yeah, he's. I think it's going to be Hack for is a smart. Stargate. Hack, Hack is actually looking uh, around saying he should, he should notice there's no pylon there. Stargate right here, just yeah. out of the proximity of Hack's uh, base. Well, he's he's hiding his Stargate. If that doesn't get scouted, that is, I guess, the Switzerland portion of this map. Yeah. Now we have the Stargate getting about halfway done here. And uh, obviously this will be an Oracle that will come barreling in here to the main hmm. and try to kill as many SCVs as possible. The real question is, uh, is Hack going to be in position? Right now he's not, but he still has enough time to send those Marines back there to defend. Yeah, he still has some time. But We actually don't see the strat used as much on this map, I believe, in PVT. I'm trying to think back to uh, all the games I've casted on this map, and I don't believe we've had many. Uh, we're um, I think I recall one where they proxied it actually in a similar location, but it was, uh, was it up higher. Maybe that's because Terran was top left or something, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Proxy Oracle can work out on some of these maps. Like, you're not going to, especially with such a fast expansion, send Marines out there. It would have to be the SCV that scouts in. It looks like he just hasn't done so. Now, this so should this be a Oracle, pretty, pretty <gasps> big tell, by the way. Yeah, he pulled Front the Marines row. out of position with this Stalker Tasteless. And look at that. They're still out of position. Here we go. The Oracle going into the main base. Oh, God. Oh, starting to shoot down all these SCVs Oops. over here. A little bit of an overextension. He can loop around here now. This is a fantastic orb already. Oh my wow. god, so much damage. Unbelievable. Right when it runs out of energy, too. So, I mean, you really could not have done more damage with that Oracle, considering. Mm -hmm. And now we have a Void Ray follow-up, so he might just do a straight-up all-in Oh, here. wow. I, th I think you might be right about that. And Two the Oracles second Oracle is going to come in. I mean, this is a pretty elementary loss, but that's why people do strats like this. Sometimes you just win. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. He might still hold it, but... Oh, he should get that SCV making out of the eBay. That would be so sick. Nope, too late. It's all right. As long as he's killing any SCVs at this point, this is a lot of kills. Three more gates being added. That Void Ray is being uh, pushed out as well. So it does look like this is going to be an all-in follow-up. Uh, and it's a really powerful one as well, especially when you've killed off that many SCVs and even a few Marines. You're going to bust the bunker so quickly uh. with the Void Rays. Barely gets out of there. So yeah, that, now you park the oracles, you make some void rays, you don't care about that bunker for sure. Oh and man, Hack has completely the wrong idea. Yeah, he he's, does not. He's eBay blocking the third that he has no intention of taking. Oh my gosh, he's still getting more kills with this. How about that? Okay. Well, I, I can't imagine a game where Hack holds this. To be completely blunt. It would be a different game than this one, that's for it sure. It would be a different reality. Yeah, he's, it's like seven gates, three void rays. I think it's actually eight gates. Am I wrong about this? I don't think it's supposed to be eight. Wait, let's check here. Is it seven? Seven, okay. So I was going to say, if it's eight, that seems like it's actually too much. <laughs> I, like, I, I hit the... Why I hit don't the, you just throw a nine there, man, and just... I check real quick, and it's it's eight. I'm like, no, it's seven. Taste is shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we have an attack coming in here now. And let's see if he actually holds this. I don't think he will. The SCVs are in position. Yeah, this is this is going to be a very tough one to hold. He's going to have Guardian Shield. He's going to have Force Fields to stop repairing if he wants. Uh, of course, three Void Rays being turned on against a bunker is pretty one-sided. Getting a few more Zots to go up and take some damage. here we go. All right, and down goes the bunker already. The Void Rays, if they can target down uh, Marauders, that would be absolutely huge. It doesn't even matter. We're going to have GG. There it is. That wow. was straightforward. Uh, not only did the strategy start out working, but a hack didn't seem to read the follow-up. Obviously, if you kill a lot of SCVs with that, it only makes sense to do that second Plan B attack. Not even Plan B, yeah. just to transition into that uh, attack. I feel so, like there was enough information there as well for Hack to guess Stargate. It's the thing is that's a, that's a tough one, right? In the heat of the moment, it's like okay, a stalker's building is is the warp gate. Uh, research actually going on is a mothership core being made. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's hard to figure that all out and really put it all together. But like, we know what's funny about it. He didn't need to make that bunker. He just needs to check for the third. You know? Yeah. It, like, 
I mean, it's, it's, when a third wasn't taken, you gotta you just, start to really prepare. Yeah, you don't make a bunker and say, oh, I can't wait for him to come down here with a probe, and then he doesn't have what's necessary to, to hold this. Wow. This is uh, it's a tough one for Hack, man. He's in a very ridiculously uh, difficult group. He knocked Dream out to be here. So, obviously, a very strong player, but his uh, TDP not holding up so far. Map number two will be on Expedition Lost. Hack was completely shut down. Rain looking for revenge against Lucira. All he has to do is topple Hack one more time. Hack really needs to go back to the drawing board here. He really needs to go back to how he's evaluating his opponent. And Expedition Lost almost forgot about this map. Yeah. Let's see what these guys want. Well, you know, maps that get vetoed a lot, occasionally we see crazy strats on. Sometimes these guys have one uh, trick in their back pocket, but we never get to see it because the map never comes up. Now's that moment. Let's see if Hack's got it or if Rain's got it. Or maybe we're going to have a typical game. Anyways, it's loaded up now. Taste with me is Artosis. This is the GSL Codex. In the bottom left in the red, he is. In the upper right in the blue, he is. My insanity lane. He wants his rematch against Lucera. He, he wants his revenge. Time. Yeah. But maybe Lucera will be the one to get revenge. Well, no, he already got revenge. Revenge twice is <laughs> twice as good. <laughs> Artosis. Yeah. What's up? Let's talk about hacks and games. What is the worst game to play against somebody who's, who's who's hacking in? Okay, hold on. Give me a, a second in that. It's I would guess it's probably actually like Counter Strike or something like that, like an FPS where they just auto kill you. Yeah, I guess that's true. That would in, probably in, be the worst. In, in, in a RTS, it's like in it, RTS, it, it's endlessly frustrating. But you can actually beat someone who's hacking against you. For it is enough. possible. Yeah. I was always amazed in Brood where how many people there were that were actually, I mean, to be frank, like legitimately good at the game who were hacking. Well. One came first, and it was almost every time the hacking. Because hacking actually made you better quicker, because you got to actually learn timings while playing. It's like playing and watching the replay at the same time. You actually yeah, get twice the practice yeah. from a hack. And that is how Testy got good. <laughs> Although I always feel like whenever I play, it's probably better to assume my opponent isn't hacking. You know, these guys are like, guys, a map hacker clearly has no skill. Like, all the time. Yeah. It's probably a bad mindset going in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Making excuses in general yeah. is, is just not, a bad mindset. You're not going to get better at a game making excuses. Yeah. That's why so many people are bad at games. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Hey, some proxy factory. factory. Over there. A, a, a factory built in proximity to Rain's base. Oh. I dare say this is a proxy factory build. Well, I do declare I think you're correct. <laughs> and we have uh, Rain going for a Nexus here. And, you know, when you do proxy builds like this, and the uh, the player who is, uh, you know, unaware of this happening is going for a quick expansion, this is really the setup you want to have as the guy who's trying to surprise his opponent. Oh, this, I mean, uh, probe getting no intel. Yeah, no. Just that they're marines. Turn around there. Yeah, it's a lot of builds that could be. Well, well, we have the starport starting now next to that factory. Now remember, uh, oh, how far does it go? How far does it go? Da -da -da -da! Oh man, if he goes all that way, the odds of hack doing damage here. <laughs> you know what's funny greatly. about this? Yeah. Let's see if I'm right about this. I think he's actually going to be able to get the SCB before it kills and finishes the... Nope. Never mind. I thought if he got there just in time and that would have mind wasn't there, he would have killed the SCB making the starport oh. and Hack would have left the game. That would, <laughs> that would have been what would have happened. I mean, I think Hack would have canceled <laughs> it and then, like, been very sad and lose the game. But, like, yeah. leaving the game is pretty. 
I mean, I couldn't blame him, but <laughs> his team probably would. <laughs> his coach definitely would. Yeah. Problem is, is that this is only good if you don't know it's coming. The fact yeah. that it gets there, yes, it gets there faster, guys. I know some of you are thinking, hey, but it's still a little bit quicker. However, yes. these have to then relocate. Or not, they could guess they could make add-ons and you could just try to commit to oh this. Oh my this means god. He's going to try to end this right away. He's doing a 1 1 1 after it. Oh my god. That's cool. We never see that anymore. Okay, this is a really great place to actually drop this to start uh, because it, you know, it's kind of in between the two Nexus Cannon areas. So he's kind of trying to control that area. Rain is owning this, man. Yeah, he's doing a good job, but hey, Stalker's starting to go down a little right, bit. He needs oh! to pull out the probes. And, okay, does a lot of damage to that Mothership Core, so he's actually going to lose the Mothership Core, it looks like, and that's actually a big, big deal. No, this he's game not, is he's not, not over. Mothership core. He's going to keep it alive. Oh, my God. That was so close. Yeah. Rain's that's really Rain's important that you say this. that. Yeah. yeah, there's a Banshee coming up next. Now, this is a 1-1-1 one, one, one on the way. You need to either have a lot of units or Colossus with range to beat this. Guys, it's been f almost five years, but we've finally seen... The resurgence of the tasteless build. <laughs> it's finally uh, come back. What am I dropping all? <laughs> yeah, what am I dropping all? That was a. Uh, it was it was a build that was ahead of its time. It, it certainly uh, was. We're finally back to this moment. So, uh, unfortunately, this hasn't done nearly the amount of damage it needed to do. Mm -hmm. and but hey, look at this. This yeah. banshee is actually getting some work done. And now it's going to be driven back. He sees the tank. Yeah, and he that, sees that, That's everything. the big tell, by the way, when you yeah. see the tank. He's getting oh more, which is really God. important. He can't lose that. I just assumed he wouldn't lose that because if he lost it, that would be the worst thing ever. You know who also build. didn't lose something was Rain with that Observer. He sees literally everything he needed to see. It's no longer a matter of... Wait a minute. I what? can't believe what I'm seeing. Has Hack practiced this on this map? What are we seeing, actually? I'm actually confused now. The tanks are stuck. <gasps> that's why you just killed the No, animal. that's crazy. The tanks are stuck? Literally nothing oh could go God. as wrong as what has gone wrong here. This is... The tanks are stuck. They are stuck. He's making a medevac to ferry the tanks out. He had to lose so much building time. This is actually a bad dream if you're a pro gamer. Yeah. It's a nightmare in he fact. Might, he might look down and find out he's in his underpants right now. You know now. what else this is a bad dream? The guy who lost to Hack in Code A. <laughs> <laughs> this is just so well, bad Well, let's see if it man. still works. Oh, I mean, this is never going to work. This has been so slow. Oh, my God. This is... This is the worst way to go. He just had a micro SCVs back in his attack with a medevac. Oh, man. I mean, I guess you got to try to go through with it. Maybe Rain will misclick. Hey, it, uh, something positive. This uh, attack was good for a reason <laughs> back in the day. The problem is now it's just dated for us to know how to tech properly. See, whenever you see the it seat, can catch you. Whenever you see the tank seat jump, guys, what do you do? You just back up. Unless it's hitting your Nexus, you don't have to do anything. Well, that's why you needed to save the Mothership Core, because then you have the Nexus Cannon, and it's like, well, yeah, if you want to attack me, you're being attacked as well. Um, we almost have the second Colossus out here. Dude, this is just... Rain is fully aware of the advantage he's in right now. Well, the siege tanks are uh, dealing some, some damage in here. A bit of an overextension there. I believe he lost one Colossus. Or did he yeah. lose one Colossus? No. No, uh, no, no. I'm oh, sorry. He took actually... a lot of damage. He lost all of his sentries, which is actually really important to know. Sentries are still important here. Guardian shield and force fields can both, both be useful. you got to really spread against this. Hey, maybe Hack can do it. I tell you, when I hit one one ones on the ladder, I still lose every now and then. It's yeah, it can catch you off guard. Okay, we should see the attack actually trigger oh, here. Oh, he gets a banshee. All right, well that's a lot of zealots in there, so uh, that's gonna be able to tank stuff very, very well. And that's gonna be GG. Yep. Wow. Don't, don't try this at home, kids. Poor hack. Just couldn't hack it in this group. I can't believe uh, that we saw the tanks get stuck. That was the that worst was. thing. And he was like, maybe I can get out if I kill this tech lab. So he loses a tech lab and has to float his buildings to do so. And then they still can't get out. It was... Have you 
the worst case scenario ever. Like it slowed down. Well, you know what that attack. was, Arto? Just that was an impulse strategy. That was not something that he did to the team house. That, that's what that says. Impulsive and behavior is not going to get you anywhere. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that is the. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, you know, honestly, I, I feel bad for him because that that has been painful to experience. But I mean, that's. That's, That's the type the, of thing the that, equivalent like, of, of, of slipping on the banana peel, stepping on the rake, and it hits you in the nose, and then you sit on a bench of wet paint. It's, and it's also the type of thing where, like, you and your friends and your teammates and your coach are all just like, you don't e you don't even need to say words. There's no words. Why? Yeah. Why would you? You think the what, coach isn't going to be like, <laughs> your tanks were stuck. Exactly. That well, was the problem. Did you see they Practice couldn't get that from behind the minerals? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. It's just like a shake of head where it's like, oh, this, I feel for you. This is brutal. We are going to go to a short break. When we come back, we'll go to our final match, Rain versus Lucera, to see who will be the last player to get out of Group D here in the GSL Code S.